Liverpool City Council in the 70s, I think they start opening up to more cultural inclusion and the central government funded the money to build this pagoda center in Liverpool, close to Chinatown. It's our 40 year celebration this year, uh, 2nd of April. That's when it was opened by um, Prince Charles and his wife then, uh, Princess Diana. It's been very, very widely, strongly used by the community, not only the music culture side, but the social side. This community centre is really important to the Chinese community because um, English isn't really the first language for the community and um, I feel like they need somewhere to rely on and somewhere that they can trust and um, the Pagoda have been around for such a long time um, and they, they know about us, so just like I've known the centre for, quite, for my whole life and I know that I can always reach out to them if I need help for anything and I feel like a lot of people in the community have that same trust and they want to rely on us for different services which is why we're here and what we're here for. Hi, I'm Jane Wong. I've been in Bagoda since I was four years old and Bagoda is an amazing place. You get to go on trips and you meet new friends and you learn new skills since I could play the Yan Chin now and it's amazing and a lot of people enjoy the music. I've been teaching here for about five years and uh, I love it. The student numbers have increased, which shows how much the students love coming here. They want to learn English, they like learning English, but they also like to use it as a centre for meeting their friends. I came here about 15 years ago to learn how to do Tai Chi and ended up never leaving. Um, they really do draw you in. And, We've done lots of different things with the centre. The centre is very diverse in its attitude to people and to the projects that we take part in. We've done lots of art projects um, where we've, um, we've gone out into the city to display and we go into schools and we teach them about Chinese culture and Chinese history. I think we have at least 300 people a week using the centre, doing English classes, all this thing and now before the lockdown I think we have probably 500 people using the centre weekly and then we have um, festivals and public performances and all that and to be very proud to say that uh, after 10 years of Pagoda Art I think we reach a million participants and audiences online as well as in person so we're quite proud of that. Mm -hmm.